Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to test the alternator and battery in your car. Um, what you will need are 10 hand or 10 fingers in case you lose one. <laughs> Just kidding. A uh, voltmeter with a uh, volts DC setting. Pretty much any voltmeter has this setting and these are only a few dollars at Walmart, uh, Radio Shack, Home Depot, you can find them about anywhere. And a 1999 Chevrolet Corvette, uh, or <laughs> your daily driver or whatever is having difficulty with the alternator. Now you know you'll be having difficulty, and it's probably an alternator if your dash lights, uh, your headlamps, uh, your electrical items on the car aren't performing as brightly or as you would expect. Uh, I recently had an alternator go out and my problem was if I turn the air conditioner and the radio on, the car wouldn't perform correctly. And um, that's because the alternator wasn't outputting enough power. Eventually it got to the point where the car actually would not start because the alternator wasn't charging the battery at all. And I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily diagnose that. Oh, if you only knew the power of the dark side. <laughs> Wait a minute, okay, we're back. Um, so uh, this is the first step in testing your alternator. That is to actually test your battery. So I just turned the multimeter to volts DC and I'm going to measure the voltage on the battery. This is very simple. You connect the red post to the red post and the black post to the black post. Uh, and you should have on your battery around 12.6 uh, volts. That's just right because this is a six cell battery as in most cars. Each cell has 2.1 volts. Um, and if you have less than that, that's okay for our test so long as your car will start. And so that's the next step here. I'm going to start the car. Step number two. And that will be, uh, you can just leave your voltmeter here. You want to be very, very, very careful that it stays clear of any pulleys or rotating assemblies on the front of your car. Uh, this Corvette, they're super nice and they put a separate compartment for the battery. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have started the car and I've turned the heater blower to maximum to put a heavy load on the alternator itself. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to probe the battery, red post to red post, black post to black post, and note I get 14.57 volts. That tells me this is a good working alternator because the voltage on the alternator is higher than the voltage on the battery when we tested it with the alternator off. And that makes perfect sense because you, want, you need to have more power coming from the alternator than the battery stores in order to fill it. You have to have a surplus, that is. Now, if your alternator is bad and you're experiencing the symptoms and you've tested it, as I showed here, the voltage from your alternator will be less than the voltage from your battery. So we had 12.6 volts in the battery. If we had started the car, and the voltage didn't rise above the 12.6 on the battery, that means we need to replace the alternator. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions about your old car, your really wicked 99 Corvette, or any questions in general, feel free to ask me below this video and I'd love to help you out. And in a future video, uh, if you like, I can show you how to replace an alternator. They take about 15 minutes to replace and they're only around 100 bucks to uh, buy, even for this spiffy Corvette you see here.